a shopping spree like no other. Law enforcement agencies able to pick up free gear ranging from Humvees to jackets and other clothing. A government giveaway known as the 1033 program. As long as you could justify everything that you use, as long as they said, well, what are you going to use this for? You know, as long as you could explain it, they were, you know, they were fine with it. Since 1989, the Defense Department has unloaded $4.2 billion worth of military gear to local and state agencies across the country, equipment that came in handy during the rescue of a six-year-old boy from a rural Alabama bunker this past February. The Dale County Sheriff's Office used two Hummers and two helicopters in the week-long standoff, but most of the discarded military property has gone unused. According to an AP investigation, much of it ending up in small towns like Morvan, Georgia. With a population of 700, Morvan's police department has snatched up generators, office and exercise equipment, tractors, a rescue boat, and scuba gear, even though the town has just a creek and only three full-time officers. It's not just the excess and waste, but potential for abuse that concerns critics of the program. I think the dangers are many. Uh, and they're profound. Norm Stamper, a retired police chief, worries about police departments becoming paramilitary forces. It gets to the heart of the question of what we want police to do in this society and whether or not we want a police state, a military police state. The 1033 program was originally designed to combat terrorism and drug trafficking, neither really a problem in Morvan. I'm not trying to talk bad about the program because it's a great program. It's just, you know, there are flaws in it. In spite of or because of its flaws, Morvin is ready to combat whatever comes its way with $4 million worth of military surplus. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.